What's up, guys? So uh, we're back at it again since the fall. I know it's been a while, but um, we're going to be going back at the uh, inline twin here. As uh, you've seen in our other video, if you haven't checked it out, we tested the theory on actually strapping two of these Predator 212s together. And uh, so what we're going to do is go ahead and actually try to make this more as if it was a single engine. We're going to get it all strapped up on a nice, a nice steel plate here. Put some holes in to make it more sturdy. And uh, what else we got? So uh, trying to make it more like a single engine, what we're going to do is remove the stock carburetors. And we've got some PVC uh, fittings and some flexible tubing, which we can heat up and actually shape and that. And uh, we're going to make an intake manifold and power both of these engines on a single intake. Um, and then eventually we'll tie in the two exhausts as well and have a two into one exhaust. So basically it will be like a real inline twin. So we're going to start on the intakes tonight, get it mounted on the plate. And this whole thing will be going to a project at some point, but uh, you'll have to uh, wait and see what that project is. Uh, we've got good plans for that as well as a whole bunch of other projects as well. So give me an update in another video. Tom, let's take a look at what we got over here. So as everyone, I'm sure, uh, has seen in the last video, and if you haven't, go back and watch it. We've got two brand new Predator 212cc 6.5 horsepower engines. And we've coupled them together down here with a flexible coupling. One of them still has the pull start, while the other one does not. So the crankshafts are tied together, and the engine is started with the single pull start. Over here we do have a electric start kit from a Honda GX engine. And Tom, what else we got over here? We got a uh, single Makuni style carburetor. Yep, it's 26 like millimeter, yep. And we also have custom fittings. So these are some modified intake manifolds. Yeah. We've actually cut these manifolds so that we can use tubing and fittings to tie two into one. So you'll see a little later uh, how that works, but basically we're going to have uh, the intakes, one on each of the, the engines, and the tubing coming off of both engines into a T-fitting and into the single carb. All right. Nice. So, uh, guys, we've got both engines now bolted and secured to this one mounting plate. The coupler is connected. There's no plugs in it right now. And the engines turn nicely together. Okay. And we've got both engines set at 180 degrees out from each other. So when this engine is on a compression stroke, this engine is on the exhaust stroke. It'll be fire, 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 fire. And uh, what we've done here is we've eliminated the stock airbox and stock carburetors. We've uh, removed the stock exhaust manifolds. We've tied off the fuel because we left gas in it from the last time we broke in the engines. And what else, Tom? Well, we've got it now. We just have to uh, tie in a way to uh, get these intakes into one car. That's right. So we have, what is this? Um, what do you call it? It's called clear vinyl, I suppose. But what was the guy at Lowe's saying this guy going to do? <laughs> <laughs> so I guess. Uh, with a little heat, you can heat this tubing up and it actually forms to whatever shape you like and then uh, hardens back into the, uh, the, the shape that you, you've conformed it to. So the idea will be to uh, take a couple of elbows and connect them to the intakes right here that we have uh, fabricated. And then we can use some tubing off of each one of these to come up to the middle somewhere in here and the carburetor will sit right in the middle of the two engines and the one carburetor will fire both engines uh, and the 26 millimeter carb, which is what a lot of guys use on these engines on go-karts and mini bikes, um, you would think that at first that you'd want to have double the size carburetor feeding two engines, but because we're running the engines uh, firing opposite one another, only one engine is drawing fuel and air at a time, so a 26 millimeter car should be perfect to run both engines fine. Uh, it should handle it no problem. Yep. All right, everybody. So we are out here in the new garage, and uh, up here in the background, we get a little cars and cameras action going on. And we've got the Predator inline twin 424cc motor project right here. So tonight, Tom and I are back on the 424 twin. 
and we're going to button up the intake manifold, the intake runners to the single carb and the plan is tonight Get this thing running. we will have this thing running. All right, so Tom, let's do something. All right, let's see what we got so far. So we got the uh, electric start kit installed, which is nice. So now we can have the option of pull start or electric start. All we got to do is uh, hook up a battery. That's what this terminal is for here. And this kill switch is tied into both engines. So it acts like one. So when you kill the engine, obviously they both quit at the same time. And as you know from earlier, both governors are locked out. And Tom has got really nice plumbing going on here for the intakes from both the engines Still coming up to the top. Fan clamps. But... Tighten down the clamps. Carburetor is just kind of positioned for the moment until we figure out exactly how we want to uh, bracket the carburetor. And... Or maybe lengthen this out and make it bump out a little bit more or what. Yep, that'll be good. Okay. So uh, yeah, coming along, took the heat shield off of this muffler to make a little bit of clearance in here for the intake runner so it doesn't get overheated by the exhaust. And as we mentioned earlier, these exhaust mufflers uh, are just temporary anyway because those are the stock mufflers and we will eventually fabricate a two into one exhaust. So for the moment, that will suffice. So. All right, let's wrap up the uh, intake plumbing on the carburetor and we can throw some fuel into this thing and uh, we should have the thing running tonight. Yeah. All right, man. Sounds good. Let's, let's do, it. do it. All right. So it looks like we're ready for the throttle. We have this uh, thumb throttle for the moment, which we may or may not use later, but uh, got the needle set at the middle setting because we really don't know where that's going to need to be with uh, this engine because this engine doesn't exist <laughs> until now. Tom, are you ready? I'm ready. I got the throttle, get the gas hooked up. I suppose so. Let's he see is it. on. Choke. Choke he is, is on. Yeah. Gas obviously is free flowing. We got oil in the motors. You got the throttle. All right, man. Here we go. Ready? Some fuel vaporized. Let me check the spark. 
Yeah, I mean. Let's check the spark first. Ah, nice. Okay. No spot. No spot. All right. So that means I've got a couple of wires mixed up down here. Ooh. I disconnect everything. That means the coil is not grounded. Yeah. It should start, right? I do so.
That sounds so good. Look at the atomized fuel. Look at the fuel. No way! That is Feel crazy! It's wow, it is! It's like it was in the freezer! That's crazy! That's awesome! That was my, so my, my good! My leg is all tingly from trying to keep the stand from moving around. I know, the torque is ridiculous! It wanted it to flip to the, go, sta yeah. the, the uh, stand over! That's why I had my foot on it. Oh my god, I love it! I love it! Alright guys, well I would say that is quite the success. Uh, I'm freaking excited yeah that is awesome um we obviously have to mount the uh the carb you know to the ear here in a permanent gas tank because at the moment we just had it temporarily set up so that we could get the uh the engine running and throttled up for the first time you know mounted to the engine plate and all of that and sitting on the engine stand so uh we are pretty much there just a matter of uh putting some brackets on the gas tank and uh, securing the carburetor to the the original gas tank here on the engine. Look how cold so, the intake is. It's condensated. Yeah, that was. Oh, look at feel, feel it. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy, man. I love it. Um, you know what I was noticing was that the idle is a bit high, so yeah, we have we have that needle jet set in the middle, so we'll have to raise uh, that. Raise so it? raise the the clip so that the needle drops. Oh, drop. Sorry, yeah, and and that way um, we'll get a little lower idle out of it. Oh, yeah, nice. so that is so cool. That's incredible. Uh, we do have a project already in the works uh, that this engine will be going into, so you'll have to stay with us to see what it is that this engine yeah. ends up sitting inside, but uh, I'm sure you're going to like it. So uh, take care, and we'll see you Until next time. time. <laughs> All right, guys. We couldn't end it there. We have to hear it run just one more time. So what we did here is... We lowered the clip on the needle in the carburetor so that the needle will sit a little bit lower, thus uh, less fuel coming in at idle. And after we fill the bowl with fuel, we disconnect the fuel pan so we don't have to hold it while we're messing with the engine. Strong's over here, man in the throttle, and we're ready to run. So let's give it one last try and uh, let's see what we got. All right, here we go. Ready, John? Yep. Enjoyed. See you next time.